Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Jane. So today's vlog is all about my patchwork quilt. So this is episode two. So grab a coffee and I'm going to share with you what I've done so far. I've absolutely thoroughly enjoyed my patchwork. Uh, it's just a massive relief that after 26 years, yes I know, 26 years, which is quite disgraceful really, after 26 years though, I've picked it back up and I am ploughing through it. Or when I say I'm ploughing through it, I've got a long way to go. So if you saw episode one, you'll see what I did so far. I'll pop the card up for episode one. If you haven't seen episode one, it gives you a little bit of a breakdown on what I've done like 26 years ago and I'm now back tackling it, thoroughly enjoying it. I am so glad I picked it back up. It's a massive weight off my shoulders, I can tell you, because this little basket of hexagons has been waiting patiently in my airing cupboard. It's In fact, this basket of hexagons has moved house twice since I started this in 1996. 1996 this little basket has followed me it's moved two houses and in all houses it's always resided in the airing cupboard and every time I've opened that airing cupboard door these little hexagons have stared back at me and I've closed the airing cupboard door and those little hexagons have been out of sight open the door there they are open shut open shut 26 years and it's always been a little bit of a weight on, like a weight on my shoulders thinking I really must pick them up. But I never picked them up and I don't know why I didn't pick them up because they're absolutely gorgeous. I love every fabric that I chose for this quilt. And luckily enough, there's still the same colour scheme for my bedroom. So that is a stroke of luck to be fair. I think honestly though, I probably would have, this is going to be my colour scheme because these are the colours that I like. Because these are kind of the colours that I would choose anyway for the bedroom, like the, the burgundies, the greens, the old goals, mustards, creams, all those type of colours. So luckily I haven't gone from that type of style to something modern and bright and vibrant because these would have been an absolute waste of time and effort. So as I say, this is week, well this is episode two and I have picked my patchwork up and not every night, so I would say six nights out of seven, so I am going to try and pick it up every night because I need to get cracking with it. I need to get it finished. Otherwise, this is going to be, we're going to be the longest patchwork quilt in the history of patchwork quilts. I don't really want you sitting there watching me on episode 327 because you may, A, you may have all just sloped off and subscribed to another channel. B, you may be a lot older. Uh, C, you might be totally bored. So I don't want it to drag out that long. And obviously I want to get it made and I want to get it put on my bed. And 2022 is the plan. So I filmed a little bit of footage of me sewing and what have you, so I'm going to share all that with you. Uh, I've also really enjoyed, not the fact that I picked this up again after 26 years, I've also, because I love hand sewing, I love the needle and thread in my hand. I just love that hand sewing. It's so therapeutic, it's so relaxing. And because it's just an overstitch, it's not like you have to concentrate too hard. So it's something I can do while I've got one eye on the TV, one eye on my patchwork or listening to some music. And yeah, so it's just been, I'm just totally really enjoying it. So I'm, this is like my evening pick up craft on an evening when I'm relaxing and this is what I've been doing and I'm totally addicted. So without further ado, let me show you what I've got done so far. So this is my little pile of the plain interlinking ones that I've done and I've currently got 125 stitched and tacked which is nowhere near enough. Obviously I'm going to be needing hundreds and hundreds hundreds for my king size quilt but I've got six meters of that fabric so I should be okay and obviously Geordie is my supervisor as soon as I get my quilt hexagons out he likes to come and get involved so I'm just piling them all up just to see just to give a bit a quick count see what I've got but yeah not nowhere near enough 125 so far 
and then there's just a few of some spare hexes that I've got I just love the colors and that's my little pile that I've done since episode one which is only 11 flowers so I really need to get a little bit more of a, a speed on like I said before a little selection of the colour schemes that I've put together. I'm hoping out of all of the 144 that I'm going to make for the quilt that there will be no repeat and I don't think there is. I think I had 12 different fabrics and each one is with a selection of those 12 and I love every one. I love how they all go together Is the flip side of each flower just to show you close up of the over stitching and I've just used the burgundy um, thread rather than cream because I would have to chop and change different thread colors and because I've done it fairly tight and hopefully quite neat you can't see too many of the stitches on the other side I don't think it's too bad and as you can see it's blended in quite nicely and just a little bit of some hand sit stitching just to show you exactly how I do it. it like I say it's just an over stitch over and over and I'm just catching the fabric not the paper I'm just kind of missing the paper out I'm just catching the top of the fabric come to the end there and I need to go along the next side so I'm just going to rotate it slightly flatten it down there make sure the points are matching on the end as you can see and then I'm just going to over stitch just a few in that join where I'm going around the angle there just to give that extra strength and then just over stitch all the way along to the end just catching the fabric to the end make sure my points are there nice and neat and then I just do a few stitches backwards to secure that thread and then I'm just gonna snip it off with my scissors and that's basically how I sew mine together so there's row two there's the back <laughs> And all I do is just line up the next hexagon just to see if the points match because they're not totally accurate to let you know each side not totally 100% accurate so some might be slightly longer or slightly shorter than the other so I just rotate it round until I find one that fits the best <laughs>
just giving you a little bit of an idea what this flower is going to look like. That will be row three, the mustard on the out and the little floral in the middle. And there is one completed. for episode two and I think I've done quite well. I need to speed up a little bit more because obviously, well that's, so what, that's what I've completed so far, which is only 11 flowers. Okay, I've got 19 more to do in here then. So hopefully episode three, fingers crossed, I will have all of these done and then I will share with you the sort of floor plan of how I'm going to lay them all out because I've got all these here, um, so I've got no repeats, and obviously I don't want, for example, I don't want like a burgundy flower, into, obviously the cream's going to interlink, but obviously I don't want a burgundy then another burgundy, so I need to be able to just kind of like map them out on how I would like them to be, so obviously maybe a burgundy with maybe the mustard on the edge, and then maybe a green one on the edge, and then see if I can find like a paler one, for example, type of thing. So that's what I need to do hopefully in episode three and then I can start putting them together and interlinking them with the plain ones. And if you've never thought of doing patchwork, hopefully my little my little bit of film in there shows you how easy it is to do. It's just a tiny little over stitching keep it neat, keep your ends together so they, they meet up and you're creating obviously a neat flower, all your ends meet up and yeah that's how easy it is and then you make your piles of flowers and then you join them all together obviously but I'm going to share all that process with you. Time consuming, it's not obviously it's not a quick project um, but it's one of those projects that you know you take your time over, enjoy it and at the end hopefully I will have a beautiful quilt to go on the bed. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Episode two. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe if you fancy following along with me and hopefully I'll have lots more progress to show you on episode three. I've got lots of sewing to get on with. I've got to get all these finished. I'm sure I will and I'll share everything I've got done in episode three and so until the next time please take care and I shall see you very soon. Thank you.